Review 2022 Porsche 911 GT3 6 Speed Manual Unleashes Green Hell. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. The green hell of the Nürburgring is cool, but have you ever tried to cauterize the equally kinky roads in your own backyard in a 502 horsepower hero maker with balletic feet and the heart of a killer? You have if you've driven the 2022 Porsche 911 GT3, a symbol clash of a supercar that's been destined for halls of fame and garage mahals worldwide ever since its debut. The GT3 serves up the best kind of sensory overload, particularly when it's endowed with two very important bits, a six-speed manual shifter and a coat of python green paint that delivers its mission statement in its simply perfect hue. Want to take the metaphor to its most painfully obvious zenith? The GT3 has a snake-like ability to move across dimensions with slithering ease. Its sinister reps mostly overblown. Its natural beauty must be studied before it can be appreciated. It can also scare the living shit out of the unprepared. All those feels erupt whenever you ring all the glory from the manual shift GT3 in Porsche's US home of Georgia. Key this 911 to life and everything that's green, the trees, the hills, the grass, the car, turns into a whizzy, exhilarating blur. Muscular and angry when it has to be indocile the rest of the time, this banner carrying 911 does a halt turn as I cajole it out of deeply valleyed parking lots outside of Atlanta. The nose lift helps coax it safely to the street, without scraping any of its skin, but then a slip of throttle reminds me of what's underfoot, and what's to come. Once we clear Exerbia, it's off to the races, or to the corral performance, one delivered by its mellifluous flat 6. With 502 horsepower and 346 lbft of torque, up just 2 horsepower and 7 lbft of torque from the last GT3, the current car's punch drunk with power once it moves a few millimeters off position 0. From 4.0 liters of displacement and 9,000 rpm of bandwidth, the GT3 extracts a sonorous rasp that elevates its top end while it shaves some low-end response. It's a car meant to move with authority at triple-digit speeds and beyond. I don't need to preach to the choir as the four-lane turns to two. The GT3 sings to the rafters, which in this case are occupied by a few lunatic squirrels and a skunk that commutes across my favorite semi-rural road with the same kind of existential dread as I do when I sign on to Twitter every morning. Porsche's PDK will never get left on read by me, but in this case, the transmission is the special, catch it while it lasts moment. The six-speed manual has the top over thunk into gear that resonates deep in any driver's heart, while the left pedal lets you tap out coded messages to the clutch with deft precision. The ballet slows things down 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 3.7 seconds, versus the dual clutch transmissions scorching 3.2 seconds, but if you believe in things like organic produce and long-form stories, the manual reels off sensual pleasures that the PDK shifter just can't.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.